Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Husky. Today I'm here with a C4D video, uh, specifically showing you guys how to save images in C4D Lite. So C4D Lite is basically a version of Cinema 4D that comes with Adobe After Effects. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, which I could be, please correct me if I'm wrong, the whole gimmick of it is it comes free with the software, but you can't actually save your work. Uh, you can only import it into After Effects, which I, I've i never done with C4D. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to save your 3D work. It will only work with, uh, you know, still pictures, no motion involved. Just uh, basically, for my use, text, 3D text that I want to put into Photoshop. And it is a ghetto method I'm using, but it's the only one that I could, you know, find that works. So, first thing you want to do, go ahead and get your logo text, whatever you're working with. You're going to go to Edit Render Settings. Go ahead and change Render to uh, Viewport. Your output, I don't think I changed any of these settings, but, uh, you know, just pretty much make sure going through this that all your settings look like mine. That's basically the most important thing. Uh, just go through them. Uh, output, I don't think I changed anything. Save, I might have changed something, but I don't think it really matters. I think I put on alpha channel and changed to 16-bit. So, you know, but I don't think that's important. What is important is when you go to viewport right here. So you have your basic. Again, I don't think I changed anything right here. It'll, at least I don't think. What does matter is when I click filter, you want to copy all the settings I have here. So yours will probably look like everything's checked in purple. If I'm not mistaken, it's this column and this column. You want to make sure you uncheck all of those, including these right here. So these three. And the reason you're doing that is because when we render it, or at least go to our picture viewer, um, it's going to render, you know, the planes and uh, the axes, all these lines, everything. Well, we don't want that. Uh, we want those to disappear. So, yeah, just go ahead and copy all these settings if you need to pause the video. But I'm going to keep going. So, I'm going to exit out here. Now, we're going to go to our picture viewer. Just going to click that. Render to picture viewer. And there we go. Now you might be wondering what is the grand thing I'm going to be doing with this. Well, it's as simple as getting the snipping tool. I think on Windows 11 it's called something different now. I'm going to change it to rectangu rectangular. And uh, we're just going to simply do this. Oh, I already messed up. You see, I didn't get a little section of it. So, I know it's, <laughs> it's goofy, but... This is the only way I could, you know, kind of find that makes it work. So, hello. <laughs> all right, hold up, hold up. Can't believe out of all this, the biggest trouble I'm having is with this <laughs> picture viewer, or not picture viewer, uh, snipping tool. All right, there we go. So we go file, save as. You can see I've done this a few times already. Then uh, you can go ahead and go to Photoshop. Now you guys might be wondering what the hell this is. I'm trying to get back into Photoshop. I'm trying to get into headers again. So I know this looks like shit, but, and it's probably fucking weird, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to do this. All right, so you got your workspace right here. You're gonna go to File, Place Embedded. It was this one right here. Now you can see it. Then press enter once you like where it is. Then the most important thing with Photoshop, you're going to right click the layer you just placed and rasterize it. Then we're going to go to our magic wand tool. We're going to select that dark area in the background and just delete it. And <laughs> you see what we got here. And then uh, for these areas inside, and just go ahead and delete it. Now, I know it, it's a little choppy in some areas. Uh, you might want to mess with your tolerance. That's a big thing. 
You can also mess uh, with the quick selection tool. That's normally what I use as well. But, um, you know, or you can do a good old method with the eraser tool. Uh, it's really all you. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm just kind of trying to make it quick and uh, snappy. Because, you know, that's, that's what it is. Now, obviously, <laughs> look, I know this doesn't look good. This is not work that I am particularly proud of so don't <laughs> just want to show you guys how to save it um, like I said please do let me know if there is a better way to and I'll just go like take this down or something because uh, yeah you know I just want to show you guys uh, what I've been up to but I will have that new tutorial hopefully up soon um, the advanced header tutorial like i said i don't want to post something i'm not confident in that's kind of like the key thing you know if i'm not confident in it myself i don't want to show people it so you know i'm just kind of trying to you know figure shit out again but yeah uh let me guys know if you have any questions uh go into the comments i'm not really going to be on twitter or whatever you want to call it anymore uh i think i'm just going to stick to this so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please check out my other ones. I have a bunch more. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.